was there no way of saving Circularity Scotland and the nine mil million of investment? There was no way with the conditions that were imposed on us, no. Oh, so the Scottish National Investment Bank and your report out tomorrow, should we expect heavy losses coming from, from this? I'm in no way involved with the Scottish National Investment Bank and I don't know what they'll be reporting. But the nine million, you, would, you wouldn't expect to see that come back in any, in any size? I mean, Circularity Scotland is an administration, so what the administrators are able to you know, ma manage through that process, I'm, I'm not familiar with. So, you know, just back to the point, nine million of taxpayers' money looks like it's going to be lost. <laughs> that wasn't done just to pick a fight with the UK government, was it, Minister? The, it was the UK government that made this decision. It, there, it was their decision to undermine our scheme, and they are responsible for the impact that it has had. I absolutely was fully committed to the scheme. Everybody at Circularity Scotland was, in terms of making it work. And as uh, David has, has just pointed out, big businesses, big producers were also fully committed. You will have seen RVMs going in in many supermarkets. We were fully set up to get operational in August this year. But when those conditions came in place, even those big producers who had invested millions and in Circularity Scotland said, we, ca we can't do it. This is, these are not conditions under which we can launch So, Minister, you take no responsibility at all for that nine million of taxpayers' money now being lost? The scheme would have gone ahead in August of 2023 if the UK government had granted a full exclusion on the timeline that we had previously agreed. So you take no responsibility and it's all to do with the UK government? Is Correct. That right?